Uh, let's also just look at the markets uh, and uh, what's happening. Then we'll be joined by the management at uh, Insecticide India. Okay, I've been told Anisha is uh, with us. Anisha, you have the management at uh, Insecticide India Limited. Yes, Pankaj, Insecticide India came out with its uh, third quarter earnings, which are pretty impressive. The stock is down about 2% now. Uh, markets have been volatile and that stock has corrected. Uh, the earnings uh, were reasonable. Uh, we saw 3% uh, growth coming in uh, for the top line for in Insecticides India. Uh, but we saw a 430% jump in its bottom line. Profits up 430% um, uh, on a year-on-year -year basis. The margins also expanded about 126 basis points. I spoke with Mr. Sandeep Agarwal, the CFO of Insecticides India, and I asked him how did the company manage the 3% revenue growth in times of demonetization. Listen in. You pointed out correctly it was a difficult situation. But since this, since this was the harvest time, the new crop was to be sown, where farmer was feeling the problem. But um, I would say here, agrochemicals are the basic necessities. You cannot do the cultivation without agrochemicals. So you need to invest in them. And uh, farmer uh, so, uh, curtailed some quantities because I believe that we got a hit of about 5 to 7 percent in terms of sales and about 7 to 10 percent in terms of collection in this quarter. But still, we are able to manage well, actually, and we have come out well. So I would say that we had introduced certain new products in this year that supported us in uh, increasing uh, volumes, profitability, both. And uh, uh, in future, also, the strategy is similar that we'll keep on introducing newer uh, products for the market so that we get the maximum benefit out of it. Now, farmers could tender old notes for seeds and not agrochemicals. Were you able to keep up the volume growth because of higher credit given out for you? Uh, I would say yes. Uh, the credit for a mean wine increased a little because uh, uh, we got a hit on in collections actually in these two months in particular, in the month of November and December. October though was not much impacted. October the collections were higher actually. But November it took a hit and December was a bigger hit actually. So it's impacted. But I think by the time the crop comes in, like in the month of March and April, we should show full recovery actually. What has led to this big jump in profits? Your costs have come down significantly. Is it because of this or because of new product launches that you have done through the year? Uh, it's a combination of all actually. Production production, yes, the investment is little lower, and at the same time, you have correctly mentioned that our interest cost has come down, and also, uh, like, uh, uh, we are able to uh, put some of the holes at little higher markets. So, it's a combination of all factors. What were the price hikes that you affected in the third quarter? Uh, it was not much actually, it would be very marginal, but I believe that uh, the uh, prices internationally are going up now. And this year, uh, 70, this, uh, 17, it showed a price hike between about 10%. So in the previous two years, actually, the prices came down as investor. And now I see the reversal, the complete reversal in this cycle. And the prices should go up by 10 to 15% in the next uh, few months, actually. That is my feeling, because the crude has started going up. Internationally, the chemicals are in shortage. The prices are going up. So that impact is going to touch India also fully. With better volumes and uh, higher prices, what could be the FY18 revenue growth like for your company? FY18 can see growth anywhere 20 plus. So it will be a minimum 20% growth in the next fiscal. That is my assumption. What was the growth in exports? Um, what is uh, the likely outlook there? We are expanding exports in a big way. We uh, are pretty small in exports, actually. This year, the total target was 20 crores, and we'll hardly be able to touch that target for this current system. But we are advancing at a very good speed. We are making our uh, relationship in different countries, establishing our network, our distributors, uh, our partners. And also, we are registering a lot of products. So export will be very big for us two to three years down the line. But yes, still we are under establishment. We are uh, generating a lot of GLP data and we are submitting our files in the different countries for registration. And uh, what's your pipeline for new products like? 
yes it's a regular endeavor on our part actually and in next 2 to 3 years i see about 7 to 8 launches every year so uh, this is going to be a very good year for us in terms of launches actually and they will definitely support us in uh, uh, taking more volume from the market a lot of generic agro products are going off patent uh, in uh, 2020 Uh, when it comes to your launches, uh, what will be the mix of generics versus innovative products? For us, it will be a combination actually. We are working on bringing the new.